Sud, you decided a few years ago as CEO of Vimeo to move away from content. Is that a decision just based on everything that's going on at the moment, this rush into content that you as a company regret? We don't regret it. In fact, every day as more entrants come into the streaming wars, we're glad it's not our war. Um, you know, the reality is the players who are going to be the winners in that market have billions of dollars to spend on content or they have existing IP they can leverage like Disney. Um, and it, you know, for us, the way we think of it is content and streaming is a really big part of the market, but there's a whole nother part of the market that we're focused on instead. And it's really not video just as a form of entertainment, but video as a form of marketing. Um, Facebook shared that uh, they get 1.5 billion daily active users of short form content. Um, and what we see is that now every business, every brand, whether you are a restaurant or a fitness owner or a real estate agent, needs to use video to get their message out on, on the internet. And it's really hard and we're building tools to make that easier. But something you mentioned just there, the Facebook sort of point about, look, a lot of people are going on Facebook posting videos, they're doing it on Twitter, they're doing it obviously on TikTok and just do that. So, so how do you as a company that actually sells people a product to make those videos protect your moat if everyone else is getting into it? Yeah, well, it's interesting that the market that we're really going after are small businesses, marketers, solo entrepreneurs who today actually aren't making video, period. And the reason they're not making video is because it the time, cost, and complexity is way too high. The average one to two minute video, professionally produced video for your brand, for marketing, actually costs thousands of dollars. It takes weeks to produce. You have to hire a freelancer. And then it lives on Facebook for two days. And so it's really too hard for most businesses. We surveyed over 1,000 small businesses recently and found that over 80% aren't making video at all. Um, and if they actually could, if barriers were lowered, then over or nearly 100% would. Um, and so we're really building tools um, and, and finding new ways to make it materially easier in a matter of minutes to make a video. But what's the end market for those videos? Because when I go on social media, if I find out about a company and I see their social media, I don't want to watch a two minute video. I want to watch something 15, 20 seconds long that I can digest and leave. Yeah. So um, we actually launched a new app uh, the other day called Vimeo Create, and it actually is a tool that helps businesses make those 15 second um, Instagram story messages. So not um, a longer form video, but really just a way to market your message. And we know actually that video gets over three times more clicks on social media than images and text posts. Um, and we know that all the social media platforms are prioritizing video. So it actually is becoming a really, really effective and critical marketing tool. Um, and so that's really the kind of, of tools we're providing. By the way, most businesses, it's not just making a video, it's what kind of video do I make? And then how do I distribute it? And how do I know if I got an ROI? And we provide a whole end-to-end -end solution. So really you can stand up an online video strategy um, in just a matter of minutes using this tool. The company itself, Vimeo, obviously sits within IEC. Uh, Barry Diller's, you know, enormous conglomerate, and Joey Levin, the CEO, said recently that you guys, he expects to double in size uh, every three years, which sounds like fantastic growth, potential growth that you would want to see ahead of an IPO. Obviously, that would be a route out of IEC. Is that something that's on the cards? Uh, I think uh, certainly an IPO is on the cards. What I would say is we don't have sort of a current plan to go public. And um, ultimately, it's not really a goal or strategy for us. You know, an IPO, from my perspective, is it's a funding vehicle. And in IAC, we have a well-funded long-term shareholder. Um, and so we're really focused on operating the business, um, going after this market, and solving real needs for our customers. And particularly, our mission is to help every business grow with video. Um, and that's really the, the goal and, and what we focus on.